Elon Musk has recently surprised the world by unveiling SpaceX's new moon spaceport, and the implications couldn't get more interesting. Not only does this take humanity a huge step closer to settlement on Mars, but it's also a step in the right direction as far as the first human flight to Mars is concerned. The majority of people alive at the moment may not be able to witness a full human settlement on Mars in their lifetimes. However, the first manned trip to Mars is scheduled within the next decade, and Musk establishing this spaceport makes it look a little too close to reality now. So, what does the establishment of this spaceport mean? Let's find out in this video. Elon Musk has made no secret of his desire to construct a colony on Mars, but his most recent project is to build a metropolis on Earth. The reasoning is simple. A trip to Mars is something of a magnitude that humanity has never witnessed before. Over the recent years, rovers and robots have been successfully sent to the Red Planet. However, sending humans on a trip that would take more than six months makes things a little more complicated. If the total cost of a one-way trip to Mars is calculated, the figure comes down to about $6 billion. And this does not take into account the expenses of sustaining at least four men on the planet until they die. All this implies is that sending humans to Mars is going to be a complicated matter. As SpaceX manages to develop rockets that have the capability to carry humans to Mars, Elon Musk has diverted some of the attention to Starbase. The idea is to establish a settlement at the launch site of SpaceX in Texas. The settlement will be significant and large enough for Musk to call it a city. It was also Musk who proposed naming the city Starbase Texas after the SpaceX South Texas launch location in Boca Chica. All of the personnel who work at the launch site, as well as those who want to travel on the rocket, would be living in this so-called city. However, interestingly enough, the place would also function as a tourist attraction for individuals interested in witnessing a launch's amazing force. And that, too, could make the company a great deal of money. Musk views it as the launching point for human missions to Mars, with each massive Starship spaceship capable of delivering up to 100 people to the Red Planet at once. They'll need the type of living space and infrastructure that only a town or city can supply while they prepare for their departure. As a result, converting Boca Chica into Starship Texas might be critical for Musk to realize his goal of space travel. Musk officially addressed the Cameron County government in late February, early March 2021 to start the process of building his metropolis. Understandably, he was required to follow all applicable statutes, according to a new statement from the county judge's office. In fact, a press release from the county judge's office made it evident that Musk must abide by all relevant laws. It was also pointed out that any application would ultimately be judged against applicable laws. So, while there isn't a great chance that this venture is going to break any rules, matters can get complicated when it comes to projects of this magnitude. It must also be remembered that SpaceX is well ahead of the game. No other company realistically comes close when it comes to planning and developing the Mars mission. This is also due to the fact that SpaceX has successfully developed rockets such as Starships that were manufactured, keeping in mind the company's long-term goals, such as that of the Red Planet. Now, Starship is a next-generation design, unlike the modest crew capsules that space organizations have previously utilized. Much of its internal area, which is 50 meters tall and 9 meters in diameter, will be used for residential quarters or adapted to transport freight. The super-heavy rocket that will carry it to orbit is 70 meters tall and will be propelled by 29 Raptor engines, which are also produced in Texas by SpaceX. Starship and Super Heavy are over 10 meters higher when stacked one on top of the other than the Saturn V rockets that NASA used to send people to the moon in the late 1960s and early 1970s. It will be able to produce nearly double the thrust of NASA's moon rocket, and that's saying something. Everything about Starship and Super Heavy is reusable, unlike the Saturn V, which was a one-time use spacecraft. At the end of the mission, both components land vertically on the launch pad. The launch site has been constructed at breakneck speed. The site's construction began in earnest in 2016 and test launches began in 2019. SpaceX has built a reputation for making quick progress and Musk himself looks to be a driven individual. In December 2020, the first important test flight was performed at Boca Chica when a Starship was launched into the air to test the vertical landing technology. It almost succeeded, but detonated as it came into contact with the pad. A total of four further test flights were required until a Starship successfully landed on May 5, 2021. 
If the prior test demonstrated anything, it was the launch site's resistance to explosive catastrophes. The company spent roughly 16 months on the extra building at the site to create an orbital launch pad. A launch table for the Super Heavy, a launch tower that will raise the Starship onto the Super Heavy and hold the enormous rocket in position until ignition, and a tank farm housing fuel and other liquids that will be pumped to the rocket before launch is also included. The tower has also been fitted with a set of massive arms. They're known as Mechazilla, and they'll capture the returning Super Heavy rocket and stabilize it when it lands softly on the pad. It will wait for the arrival of the Orion capsule, dock with it, and then allow the astronauts to transfer themselves over. Following these actions, they will pilot the Starship all the way down to the moon's surface and back again after the mission is successfully completed. The test launch in question will essentially form a dress rehearsal of a kind for Musk's eventual aim of Martian exploration and settlement. As mentioned earlier, most people alive at the moment will not be able to witness a complete Mars settlement. However, humans landing on Mars will be made possible within the next decade. And Musk has promised that several times now. Despite the fact that it really does still sound like science fiction, the reality is that Musk has already invested too much into this to pull out at this point. And all the moves his company has made in this regard so far have been quite majorly successful. It's also quite relevant to wonder about the environmental impact of launches conducted by SpaceX. In this regard, the locals of Boca Chica may not be fully satisfied with the company's conduct against them. When SpaceX originally announced its plan to establish a launch station near Boca Chica Village on the US Gulf Coast in 2014, the FAA, or the US Federal Aviation Authority, conducted an urgent and detailed environmental review. Musk's Falcon rockets are launched from NASA and US government leased sites, whereas the Boca Chica facility is privately owned. It's close to Boca Chica, and while a majority of residents sold their homes to SpaceX and relocated, a few refused. They must now, very controversially, leave their homes any time a launch is scheduled, and there are many planned. The Starship, Musk's most ambitious spaceship, is housed in Boca Chica, as is the Super Heavy rocket that will launch it into orbit. SpaceX had already begun referring to the Boca Chica site as the Starbase starting in March, and the company is now all set up to launch its first orbital test flight of the Starship and Super Heavy combination. There are conflicting opinions about how the locals of the area got treated by SpaceX. However, after all, SpaceX is making incredible progress when it comes to exploring the Red Planet. What are your thoughts regarding travel to Mars? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments down below.